Okay, welcome to Irish King 1916 tutorial on playing the high winds. Now I feel the best way to broach this is to kind of play a few holes. We retake a few shots, but uh, play a few holes, high winds and St. Andrews. Now I, I kind of into the breeze like this. I would, I would hit a flat. I know you'd be tempted to put top spin on it, but I'm not a fan. Unless you're sure of a mound that you're going to hit on to kick off. I'm just not a fan of hitting the ball into the breeze uh, with top spin because the wind's just gonna knock it out of the air. Okay, so here we have a 43 shot, um, which I'm gonna play, which I would normally play with no spin. Now you don't, like as you imagine with a long shot, if you're hitting a tree wood, you'd be aiming out here for such a breeze, but obviously the ball's not gonna be in the air as long as a tree would, so then, therefore the wind won't affect the ball as much. So the fact that I'm playing it flat, you can, you can throw it to about here, this, um, the aimer to about that much right of the bit. Now the wind into major factor here, because that's pretty much acting like a 12, 13 headwind. You have to take that into account. So we're 43, so we're gonna hit at about 50. Might be a bit too much because again the wind won't affect it and might cut through the breeze a bit. Now you can see the spin there. That's why it's important to land. We're gonna take it again and I'll explain this. Um it's very important to land on the side of where the wind is coming from when you're playing wedges into the green because the ball there therefore will spin towards the hole like say we were to just aim it here and i didn't do enough oh then give me a little lady club it's a little too much okay i'm gonna try so it's coming here and it looks good kind of coming at the pin but then it spins away from the hole so it's always important to always over allow for the wind get that kind of mindset that I like if you're gonna judge the wind exaggerate it exaggerate the wind I mean, exaggerate the aim but like I say we wedges 43 yards not even hitting full power it's not even getting up into the air you don't have to aim much anyway we'll go, we'll go and uh, finish this hole see it landing on the right and then spinning towards the hole now you'll see it with longer wedges because we'll be playing fuller wedges over the next few holes and there uh, you'll see how the spin reacts and it's just very important to land on the side of the pin with the wedges where the wind is coming from okay so 30 32 wind now this is an incredibly strong wind i myself find that like you think it's only three up from the 29 30 wind 31 wind yeah or the 28 30 wind but i find this wind incredibly strong so i'll bait the drive down here and because and what i like to do is about 50 percent spin now you could try ride the wind here if, if you hit it early on the ding it will kind of you're pulling the ball with the wind and you, you, you get a few extra yards but try it out it doesn't always work <coughs> we'll give that a good belt up there we're gonna get a kick too we're probably gonna run through the green which will give us a little practice at a pitch i think right fair way so we're pitching directly downwind there now the wind will really affect pitches so i would i'm a, i'm a i'm a fan of the full shot here this is pretty much the way this tutorial gone because we're going to take each shot on its own merits and basically thinking teddy's my thought process through it and hopefully he's can pick up a thing or two now the wind will also directionally like that's left to right so that's Put the pin back in there so you can get some context the wind's gonna push that a lot now obviously downwind you need to put a little more spin on it i'm gonna go for the full shot here full spin and when you're playing this full spin wedge you need to give it a bit more juice but then the wind will cancel that out so because you're gonna have a big skip the wind is pushing the ball so the first bounce is going to be a big skip forward 
can, as you all know, this is an awkward pin. Uh, big skip, and then that bites. Now it leaves me a tricky putt. <coughs> now, with the putting, I like on the high winds in St Andrews, St George's. Mm, it it does affect the putts. I just take it as a factor. I have no exactly mathematical way of doing it with putting because, as you'll see in my future coming putting tutorial, I don't use calculator calculations for putting. But we'll just go through, take each shot, as I was saying, on its own merits. So this is a slide I left or right. As you all know, it's a very difficult putt. That's the problem with hitting the wedge full spin. It won't roll down. It will stop dead. And it can leave you awkward here. But that was the gamble I took. And it didn't work out. Now the wind is directly downwind. That does accentuate the speed of the putt. Will will push the ball on. So it makes it even faster than it already is with its two down. So the way I hit these is just... Um, you have to go for it because I can't see any way dollying up. But when you when you go for it, you go for it. There's no half measures. Ah, at least when you go for it and you're aggressive, you catch the lip like that, and that probably stop the putt from being double the length that it would be. Now, the wind is now from right to left and into the breeze. Uh, this is notoriously so put. But I think the wind will hold a bit. And I'm going to give it a good thump. And that was spread pretty well. Okay. Jeez, we're getting them all downwind. I'm trying to. Pretty much the same. The same as the second. We're going to, we'll have a little go at this. Again, 50% spin. Yeah, we're going to realign that because I want to try that ride with the wind again. Although I think I do have plenty to actually make the green. Wait a minute, hold on. Here, right, we rolled away that. See, it's gone. It's gone left. I did catch the ups off, though. Okay, nice drive. Nicely done. We will have holes to go on that. Um, into the wind where you'll you to layer more shots so again into the wind take it as a small factor that's all i take it as it will push the putt so i'll it'll push the putt it'll take away a bit of that break straightening it up so i will basically in there oh, it's, I'll give it a give it a thump didn't mind that i missed it that much because it is hot. See, the wind nearly held that for me there, even though I missed the ding. Anyway, on to the next hole. Right. So, slightly into the breeze. Drive. I, I'm kind of like hitting this one flat, just for control's sake directionally when you hit the ball flat and not put spin on it it does take away how much the wind affects it all right now we might need to just redo that tell you what we'll do we'll redo it and we'll just lay up on the fairway so so we have a a proper shot it's actually going to be really difficult shot which would be a good example of how to kind of control your spin into it <clears throat> Alright, that's a nice city yardage. So we're into the breeze. Now it's kinda to my eye straight away I, I, I like the yardage because I'll I'll be wanting to send something in with low spin because as I explained on the first haul with the wedges, the ball spinning away from the spin spinning away from the pin, sorry. Spinning away from the pin is a big thing with the, this left to right win. We we, we, we want to end. We want to land the ball left of the pin. But if I do that with that wind sliding in from left to right, I have any spin on it, it will just spin away from it and come down to here. So what I want to do is aim left here, 
and I'm gonna pull it just a smidgen of spin. That's just to kind of get a little control on the ball, so it's not running forward, just a little grab. That's my thinking behind that. And then, um, again, the ball's not incredibly up in the air a lot, but you you always want to land on this side of the pin. Now, it's easier said than done, and I will, because that's into the breeze. Hit that nearly, yeah, nearly full. Okay, let's see what this, what this brings. No herpes. And let's see, it's the landing, nice soft bounce. That's because it was short. Um, let's have a little go at that again. This is one of the tougher shots in the game. All right, so even a smaller amount of spin. Let's have a go. Okay. And see, land soft like that. That's what I want because the ground generally slopes from left to right and it comes down soft. That's where it's just gravity. It's not the spin on the ball bringing it down. That's just the hill, the actual slope bringing it down. A little too much power, but you saw the difference. The vagrancies. I only like put a smidgen of spin on it there where the first one I put two smidgens and the first one comes up short and this one goes long so it's it just takes it's it's very much a feel thing all right let's have a go this is obviously the wind here is a left right as we're looking at it now so it's, that's going with the slope so that will accentuate the break it is uphill and anyone that knows me I like I like whacking me a putt but still look I just couldn't trust the wind there probably I didn't hit it with enough pain but I couldn't trust the wind to bring it back all right we move on to the next hopefully we get an old three wood shot or a long iron we've been hitting wedges the whole way Ooh. Well, let's have a go. Let me bait this one down here. It'll be an interesting shot in it. Right, so with high winds, obviously you see this fairway, like, I don't think I can reach that bunker now, 400 yards, so I'd have to take an awful kick, but I do want to carry this junk. So I'm going to put a little bit more spin than usual. That's because I just want to make sure I carry the junk. All right. No problem, carried it, got a little kick on. We have 120 yards, so very much downwind, not a real nice yardage. So, your choice is being hit the wedge, but hit the 100 yards, yeah, sand wedge. But will I carry it enough? And if I do, can I put enough spin on it? The hold or the 120 which is a kind of opposite a problem i can easily carry it but well again i won't have enough spin on it to hold so, so i'm kind of favoring the 100 but it is it feels like a gamble to me but that 27 29 win will grab it on i would prefer to tr me thinking here is i would prefer to play this shot with a little bit i'm not going to play full spin but i'll play 50% and I'm hoping that it kind of just lands on the knuckle here and the second bounce spins by the hole because it's, you, you, like, it's a big downwind and it should carry the 100 alright let's have a go as you can see this is the kind of difficulty I have with the tutorial I play it very much by field so that's why I'm kind of taking each shot as I go see way too much spin and that was the problem I was saying at the start. Can I get it down there? I tried the option of doing it with too much spin. We'd, we'll take a mulligan there and try to put less spin on it. And, but will it hold? Or right, go kind of quarter spin. Well, I think this will get there. But I think uh, like, it didn't help now that I missed the thing by a mile. All right, it didn't. Let's try one more. Let's try just hit. Gimme. 
Let's try to just put a little smidgen of spin on it. Obviously, your own golf balls depend um, depends on what golf balls you use. I use the high spinning, the high spinning balls. That seems to be the job. And this was kind of what the shot was hoping for down the hill. No, see that released out. Very tricky shot. Kind of gonna get the feel of how your own ball reacts downwind and play the appropriate shot. Anyway, this is. It looks like a simple right to left puck, but you do have to kind of take the wind into account here. So, just like when I say I'm taking it, like I would probably hit it there without the wind. I'm going to hit it there with the wind. It's, it's a small margins, but they can make such a difference. And not a great example. Somebody said this was supposed to be a tutorial. <laughs> okay. Now let's see with the one that I said without the wind. Yeah, pretty straight but wind didn't affect that. See for me the wind it's just a bit bit hit and missy. Okay, I wanna play um I'm gonna just lay up here. So we can gonna get a long shot in. Because I'm getting all the good wins. Why can't this happen to me in big events like the USJ? You get these all these glorious wins. The one time I won a few hard wins. Right, so yeah, the one time I won a few hard wins. WGT doesn't oblige. Okay, so this would be my first full spin shot in high winds, which is a very rare thing I do, but I do like it but by putting full spin on it you're going to be aiming even more because like i said the more spin you put on it the more the wind affects it another little tip you can't see the pen here and it's very i line up this shot it's i i'm i'm only kind of setting my aim on that screen but when i flick to this screen this is where i kind of feel the shot i see it in my eye from behind the bar but i need to see the pin another little tip is to change to a wood the driver change to the driver so you're kind of getting a feel for it and then just change back to whatever club you choose to use but at least now you can see the pin right so i fancy that one this isn't gonna have much spin back but it could have side spin especially with full backspin so that's the way i kind of see it um and i will be just paying probably about one nine three now when you don't go full power that will lessen your spin but this is a quite difficult shot and obviously I've never played it before and the wind's not really getting into that see oh it's coming up short way short now that effect let's have this again, is because you're pushing the ball you're aiming it out right and you're pushing the ball if you think about the angle of the wind you're actually going more into the wind and then it's kind of getting a little bit caught up in the wind Actually, it was 197, and for some reason I had in my head it was 193. Okay, so let's play this again. We'll have a look with we'll Picker Driver. Heard the tree wood. Okay, going back to the 195, and I'm not going to put that much spin on it. And always try, still the rule, make sure you overdo the wind. Always overdo it, even if you look stupid for the first few times. Because the spin, we'll see, it's running towards the hole. You know, even a bad shot like that, it's still rolling towards the hole. So always overcompensate for the wind. Um, we won't have a better go at that. We'll just play on, see if we can get a few more different shots. Right, I'll just beat this down here. I am going to go. I'm not taking much time explaining the butts because I'm going to do a tutorial on that. I'm, uh, I have to have a little think about that one because I really put differently than most people. I don't use calculations, so it'd probably be more of a comedy show than a, than an actual tutorial. <laughs> we'll we'll give it a go. Anyway, back to this. As I grab a sip of tea. Now, 30, 32 wins, enormous again. So I know a lot of is won't have to encounter this shot but I'm just will in time as you get better and you're talking about driving greens it again I need to ride the wind 
but I'm gonna put I need to carry all this stuff so I'm gonna be going probably a little higher than usual kind of 75 spin and again the more spin you do the more you have to account for the winds and I want to be kind of riding the wind as well so I want to be hitting early on the ding so you're gonna aim even more to the right for that but anyway let's give this a shot here I kind of actually really like the shot I was in I'll probably pull that but let's see going nice in the wind a little left of the pin now I wouldn't expect people to aim and the shot just wasn't on it just wasn't on so but a good drive but you have to line up for these things expecting that you can do them and um, that probably just didn't have enough wind helping right so we have a little knuckle here we're coming over and that's a big wind that is going to affect the pitch and this is down slope so i am going to not take any risks and not full spin but near enough full spin but this is how much wind you have to allow for your pitches especially with that wind and especially 25 yards well i hope it doesn't make a liar of me but let's have a look yeah look the wind's getting straight into it and then again the spin will take it towards the hole full spin would have been nice but big don't be afraid when pitching to allow for wind even when i'm doing the little 10 yard pitches i look at the wind especially high winds because it does affect them all right so another big left to right wind i think we have the front pin we do so again you don't have much room between the pin and the side of the green so that's your landed area so if i send something in there we'll try the high spinny shot and to see the problem with it is that i could hit a great shot i land here and then i'll just start spinning away and then the faster the greens like around 14 greens which i know you guys really are well sure all of us really are but 13 greens with the wind blown and it's spinning away the ball will roll away like hell so uh, let's try the shot i wouldn't pick which is the high spinny one it's very tempting now the fact that's down breeze the spin might rip as much again i want to see the pin so change which are at weird angles right so let's let's try that so we're, what we're doing 165 uh, again i'm like it's 161 we're using 165 club but I'm pretty much, and it's, it's downwind, and what's it is, like that downwind is nearly about a seven or an eight. See, it's just slightly downwind, but that's a major factor how the shot's gonna play out. So I'm gonna hit it at about a 164. Okay, let's see. It's kind of good line, but obviously we're not short. But look, spinning away spinning away and obviously with that amount of spin it's going up into the wind you're losing a bit of control right we'll try it again now this this is the way i, I would want to play it if i was playing i want to kind of put just a little checky stop on it that amount of spin is just trying to get it to bring it to attention and le less wind and probably less power Yeah, let's see because the less spin the ball um, the ball didn't um, get moved by the wind much but you see when I hit the green it spun towards the hole because I missed it on the right side of the hole it's a pretty good shot like that's I'd be very happy with that like um, those so called better players don't always hit them close but I was happy that that little kind of stop and then this is a hill but the spin on it was to just bring it to control and then gravity and the inertia that's on it was on the ball from the spin spinning sideways just brought it down to the hole so we'll tap this down i think we're leaving accounting for the wind somewhat a bit hard now i think i think i've hit this bit hard that's what it, yeah that's a bit mickey mouse now but uh we're not on the putting tutorial yet so let's we'll go on to the next hole. God 
down winds all the time. <sighs> right, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, we'll, I, I never thought I'd, I'd be doing a video where I'd be giving out about getting down winds on WGT. Ever. Um, yeah, we have hit 150 down here. I'm kind of looking for a full 80, full 100 to show you that shot. How it reacts with full power. Yeah, we played that shot already, so. Let's just. Let's just knock a 30 yards ahead. All right, there we go. Now we've big left to right. So you have a few options. You can play our 100 in. And because you're not hitting a full power, let's just try to get through these ones kind of quick. If there's a little downwind, you're going to have very little spin on it. The big, the big wind is going to make a roll. So, so you're just running out of it. It was pretty good for yardage. Just allowed for too much for a no spin shot that wasn't full power. Uh, let's have a go. The other option is... 80 with 50% for this shot 50% top spin because see that downwind now this kind of will have a bit of stop built into it because it's only an 80 but in fact I put a little top spin on it now the top spin I do it to take off the back spin that's really a high end ball issue um, and, and probably full power and like a lot of the times I will miss on the side of the wind just to air just as an air of caution see that the wind was the spin was built into it and we probably could have gone let's go so right with my 80 full top spin is 87 but this is really just with this ball but when you do put a little if you have a spinny ball when you do put a little bit of spin on it you're going to obviously take away that back spin so remember to in your aiming when you're moving the aim box that you're accounting that it won't spin away from the hole that it's going to go kind of forward so you might want to aim as much and um, let's go full power that's you know the back spin where it's spinning away from the hole that's it that's the shot i want to play i i obviously would say that's with a heartbeat you know obviously i was going to say that <laughs> All right, we'll play a couple more. I'm trying to think of uh, all the all the issues that you you come up with with the high winds. It really for me is a fail game. I don't even know if the lads that use the calculations can even do it with that sort of win. Oh, that's not in Hallstorm. I'll tell you about it. We'll go. We'll go again. Give us a sec. In game mode, so you play, show play, park play, side Andrews, back nine, sure, why not? Bit of practice, and um, maybe, maybe do the champion tees, we want five wins, tee off, tournament space. Okay, so we get down to the back nine here. Now, into the wind, drive, again, big fan of just hitting this flat. Do not put top spin on it. You're only hitting it into the ground, and it's gonna come down with such a lack of, of, traject, um, like inertia going forward, that you're not gonna get a load of kick forward. You're just gonna it's just gonna kick forward a little more than that, but you might be ten yards back, because it kind of knocks it out of the air. Now this this would be a good example of wedge, and a lot of a lot of it is wedges in the high winds. Well, certainly in St Andrews anyway. Okay, so you think 60, you, you know, it's obviously not going to get there with the breeze. What I like here is punch. I use the punches in the wedges, and you go up to 60A here. Now, I think try to make these shots with the high winds as simple as possible. The more spin, the more aim, the more things, more, more, the more you fiddle with the shot the less, it, the, how much harder it is to get accuracy. Simplicity is the best. If you if you don't have to put spin on it, don't put spin on it. Like, 
always try to make it simple. Simple works best. So it's, this is um, so the, the wind with punch shots does not affect as much. So especially with the 50, I'm going to use 68 here. There will be a possibility of spin, but not as much as if you were hitting a full 60 wedge. Let's try this. Let's see where this gets us. Um, that might cut through the wind, actually, but I don't know. That's coming down. See, little spin, but we'll never rip back. We'll never rip back. Um, we have one more go. Yeah, why not? Um, see if you could try the full top spin because it's such a short it's such a short shot the winds into your face mightn't affect the ball as much i just think there's a little more risk factor to this because you're hitting the higher i am going to aim a little more left because we're not playing that punch shot so i think the wind the left or right that's on that wind will will affect it a little bit more we try this this might get there Let's see you know, I did miss the ding. See, it's a little short. Now, it's going to run out to an all right putt. But I think the percentage shot there was keeping it under the breeze with that little 68 punch. Right, we move on to the next one. Let's try hold the putt. If for the only sake to save everyone's time. Now, let's see what this shot offers up. I think I've got downwind every home. Right, so downwind this is time I got this is the time I'm gonna play full spin let's see what this gets us now it was the wind really didn't affect that probably too much spin Colin's on top of the hill all right let's speed that up there a little bit not really learning any much here so, so I, I will skip on to the next hole that's such a peculiar hole that's just a shot for that hole and um, not really gonna learn anything about high winds there okay we'll take our pair never a terrible score in that hole in high winds right on to the 12th downwind again okay let's have a little tutorial downwind on driving on this particular hole because this is a shot we've come up with come up a lot i really only think you can land it into this little spot here now you can try bounce it there and a roll up and roll down it's hard but i'm more of the of the aggression point of view so but it's still it's still not full power Actually, we want to be able to have the upper L on. So, that's a problem. Okay, so this. Let's just hit this down here. Tree wood. Sorry, guys. One second. And again. I keep moving the window. Bear with me. into the bunker no harm let's have a little practice i know i've done a bunker tutorial but the wind does affect out of this as in it really will kind of take your spin off it's so in the tutorial i said yeah 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 add 10 yards to every shot but this is slightly downwind so i'm gonna just take it a little bit off it no that's no let's see yeah, I did the wrong. I did the wrong power there. Actually, let's let's try that again, because I actually did hit the ten yards forward there. It's only twenty one yards. Okay, let's have a mulligan again. Right, so I'm gonna hit a, a twenty five. There we go. And it's still running on a bit. Yeah. Yeah, there is a downslope there, so it might be more the downslope effect than that. 
Right again, you have a port, you have up the hill, so. It's, the wind is not really gonna affect it. It will probably affect the speed of it, so you could get a little more aggressive. Come on, snap around. Let me get the birdie, okay. All right, here we go. Not a really tricky wind. All right, let's just try bang it on the fairway. See if we can explain my thinking on this shot. This is very much like the fort hole, is that you're spinning down a slope, so you want to kind of send something in. With low spin, check, and let the hill kind of take it. Now you're going into the breeze here. Because I will be doing a little a, a little bit of spin, you can use the breeze. The breeze, you don't have to put much spin on it because the breeze is going to hold up the ball as well. So you can, it acts like spin for the lack of a better way of describing it. Now, you 25, 27, right to left wind, but that's into the breeze. And then because I'm aiming over here, it's more into the breeze. So you kind of use that. So and less spin will stop the curve as i was saying earlier it will stop the ball curving from right to left but because the wind won't affect it much and that will help with the ball stop being going down the slope on the green that is right to left here because that's big time right to left so let's let's i'm gonna play it like i would so a bit more juice on it because we're going to cut into that breeze and then hopefully as the ball cuts into the breeze, the breeze slows up and then when it lands on the green, it checks. That's my thinking. Let's see if it works out. Okay, ball moving. It's great line, just short of power. But see, it runs down the hill nicely, controlled. The shot's controlled the whole way. Now, what we'll do is we'll hit what would happen if you did full spin. Okay, so you think, all right, I got right to left. I, I hit him a full spin. Problem is, this is just going to come up short. It's going to come up short, even though I'm hitting it with more power. I'm just spin away from the hole. It's just, it might not even make the green. Yeah, so you've lost all control. You've just ballooned it up into the air. So you might say, well, you could do it with 195. Okay, that will help. But then you're kind of losing a little control on the green. But still could be done with this. You know, but are you gonna trust yourself to hit it harder? Now, this could work. It's a better shot than that high spinny one. But still, if it reacts on the green, like it's coming down, and I see the spin, it spun back. Now, that's not a great example because we didn't hit enough, but let's, let's try it again. 195 up here all right so you want to go full three and full power it's actually pretty aggressive shot but the problem is landing on the green it's going to spin away that's why i prefer my first shot but it could work it could work a bit more for the wind but it's just it's such a high tariff shot yeah that's a nice sound all right but it's high tariff you're aiming way left and then you're judging the slope but that that did work nicely so there was two ways to do it i'll try again the way i prefer to try it i don't really want to send the ball that far up the hill i want a little more control on it I'm kind of hit it there that's enough spin to stop the ball going forward i'm just a, i'm just a much bigger advocate of this shot because keeping it under the breeze keeping a bit of control of it didn't help that I missed the ding by 10 hundred yards okay again this is supposed to be a tutorial Carl tutor them don't embarrass yourself <laughs> all right I'll try that again okay so big fan of this shot keep it on there bit of control try not miss the, the ding by a mile and of course I will get a heartbeat on the shot I'm telling people not to play <laughs> no I just see not as far up the hill so that was really t 
do that full power. So you have a, you do have the choice, but I prefer a ball that's landing there and not ripping down the hill. Right, the one that I did get a hairy fancy looking. It's a it's a fancy shot and it came out came off more than the shot and keep trying to choose, but I'd still pick it. I much prefer to keep control, not just in the ball in the air when the ball lands on the green. It's not spinning like a crazy. Actually, hold on, we're just it's not spinning like a crazy man. Okay, we just won't spend too much time on the putting, as I said, as we will be doing a putting tutorial in the future. Ooh. Now, when we get to the par five, we play the par five and see if we can get a tree wood in hand. It, this was always going to be a difficult tutorial for me to really explain everything because every shot is different you know there's no there's no science to it it's just kind of a feel thing downwind again it's just a kind of a feel thing each shot is different but it's just the little tips like always over exaggerate the wind don't if you if you didn't if you allowed for too much wind never worry about that it's a bigger problem it's far more forgiving when you aim too much wind and when you aim too little as i said when the wedges are landing on the green they're landing with loads of spin spinning away from the hole okay i swear i hope we get all these wins i, I just wanted a few more holes into the wind to kind of explain the thinking right so if you have a shot like this onto the down slope some people use probably if you haven't got a high spinny ball definitely probably play flop is probably the main thing look i'll try it you know because you just want control you're not going to be rolling this out it's all about maximum spin there we go that's one way of doing it i'm not a big fan of that shot the flop because i want it i don't think it goes in i prefer playing this it is a riskier shot but if you have a high spinny ball like this I kind of like playing this shot. It's going to get carried in the wind. Probably. Bounce in the middle of the hill and check up. Because I'm trying to hold the shot. That's just me. See, that has roll on it. And I'm trying to hold out. But uh, when they have that big downwind onto a down slope, just lash it out of a spin. Because you always want the control on your pitches. You, you, you just never sacrifice control. You don't want the, pit, the, the ball going away. And so the, the downwind pitches, don't be afraid, especially if you haven't got a, a high spin and ball. Don't be afraid of lashing the spin out, but put lots on it. Okay, this I think is our first into the wind hole. So this was a shot I wanted to show. And what we were in 312. I just want to take a little off this. And pretty much talk about flat shots into the green, which I am a huge fan of. I am a huge fan of hitting flat shots when you can do it. Because again, it's taking one factor out. As I was saying earlier, you just want to make things simple. If you don't have to put spin on the ball, oh, that takes a lot of it. <laughs> well, it takes one thing to think about. As far as going to said, one less the thing to think about. Okay, so. Basically, when you're hitting a flat iron with the winds, I always kind of have it in my head 16 into. It will still go the distance. Probably 14, 16. It will still go the same distance of club. It will cut through the air. Certainly with my ones, I, to be honest, I can't remember the lower level clubs whether this is the same, but it's certainly worth thinking about anyway. Um, you just can learn what feel and what what wind and how a flat shot reacts with a headwind but for me it's around that 14 16 if i have a 165 club into a 14 16 wind it will flat wise it will travel 163 but that is account accounting for the roll after the ball lands now so i have a 23 25 wind here and i fancy hitting the 165 so that is borderline kind of kind of cancelled out 
like say give me the two yards extra and then straighten up that wind well basically what would that wind be straight be close to a 14 16 probably a little stronger but what we'll do is we'll play the shot and not too much wind this is the beauty you don't have to aim so much when you're not putting spin when you're playing this flat shot so i'm just going to hit a flat and there we go and there's not as much onus on hitting the ding see counting the roll out now that is a is a slope there but there's not too much onus when you hit a flat shot on hitting the ding on the right hand side let me explain that because i haven't brought that up when i'm playing high winds i always try miss the ding if you're going to miss the ding miss it on the side the wind is coming from very much the way i say land on the side of the green on the side of the pin where the wind is coming from because if you aim if you hit on the right side here with a bit of spin it's just gonna get lost it's as if coming out of a shot in real golf let's play let's let's try a spinny shot so i'm playing a spinny shot in here not so much the distance i'm trying to explain like I'd miss, oh god, I get a heartbeat, but I'm trying not to explain it, <laughs> unreal, um, not the strongest wind for me to show that example, anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll try explain that in the next hole, as it's hard to get these examples up, I can't believe I played a heartbeat, by accident, that's uh, when you're trying to play a bad shot, I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, <laughs> Okay, this would be the perfect example. The perfect example. So I'm just gonna I'll just knock a shot down the fairway here, give us a bit of yardage. So we have this is our kind of first mid-range shot. So again, I'm a big fan, big proponent of um low spin shots, but this is a little down brace. And it's link screens, and so you do have to kind of put a bit of spin on this. But I'm I'm very rarely gonna go full spin, especially I haven't got much green behind the pin here. There's just a lot of factors taken into account. I'm kind of like, no. So I like the little check and run out. That's what I'm kind of playing for. So we play the shot properly, and then I'll try explain the problem with um the, what side to hit the dig on that I was trying to explain on the last hole with my but my accidental heartbeat prevented me so okay so gonna hit this the yardage 147 is slightly downwind and the way i want to play it is on the dinger before that yeah the you could still got the control Ball's landing with control, just running out. Nice. Just what the doctor ordered. And I hit it on the left side of the dig. Said to myself, hit it on the ding or the left side of the dig. Because you're kind of holding it against the breeze, keeping control of the ball. Now, we'll try play the same shot. What did I Same shot. I'm trying to make a, a mess of the ding. So I'm trying to play the same shot. I don't really put too much spin on for seven we're gonna miss the ding now it's very like concentration comes in i missed the ding it's already going up straight at the pin and then the wind is just carrying it and then it's just spinning away where if i miss that much obviously it's gonna like um if i miss that much on the left side it's still holding against the, the so it, it it's still holding against the wind let me let me try explain myself properly so we have this shot so i miss i'm saying to myself here right i have i have the wind i have it all lined up but i want to miss the left side of it ultimate no no is the right side so you kind of have a little area here especially in the in the high definition that i play yeah i have a little area here but just never go past the thing on this shot i'll we'll try it again hopefully it doesn't make a lot of me so I'm playing it, I'm playing it the distance, and not to hit the lay, don't hit lay. 
and again that's it and I could probably hit it a little earlier and it still work out but always miss the ding on the side the wind is coming from it, you, you'd be amazed how forgiving it is but it's not forgiving if you miss it with the wind if you miss it on the side the wind is heading it's just it, you never get away with it so think about that when you're before you're playing your shot is what side of the ding am I going to hit it on especially in when you have it set up in the HD resolution but it pretty much when I was playing the old flash version it's the exact same thinking um, it won't hurt you as badly as missing on the side of the ding where the wind is heading to right guys that's pretty much all I have for you it's on high wind play I hope you try to find something in 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 amongst all of that it was always going to be a hard tutorial to to explain so that's why i kind of went and tried to play around and take each shot as a come I, I, I probably will think after this tutorial about a couple of things i've forgotten but um if any questions throw them in the comments and um i'll try and answer them but anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one